And we are underway. 57 kilogram featherweight action in the second preliminary round of this tournament. 44 boxers making up the number in this particular weight class. The boxer wearing red is Poland's Pavel Brak, just 19 years of age. Takes a right hand over the top of a left that was held rather low. And a man who scored that is Turkey's Nuratin Ovat. 26 years of age, part of a maximum size 13 deep Turkish boxing squad competing in his first senior world championships. And being just 19, that is certainly the case for Pavel Brak. Commentated on him earlier this summer. Left hook was taken there by Brak. But comment and he, the same shot catches him once again by the man in blue who is bending at the waist in dramatic fashion to avoid the shots that are coming his way. Right, Pavel Brak claimed a bronze medal in the European Under-22 Championships. Another right hand crashes home for Ovat. Actually lost that semi-final on a walkover. So wasn't able to box in a bid to try and make it through to the gold medal bout. Approaching the halfway stage of what has been a lively first round so far. Brack banging away with that right hand and that one right on the button. Very good shot indeed. The 19-year-old taking it to his more experienced, more mature opponent. Quality in his shots. The right hook proving to be really profitable for him. And that's a terrific response because it was Ovat who started quickly. But Brack just takes a left jab there. And this, the biggest championships of his of this, the early stage of his Aiba boxing career. And he's put all of the ephemera out of his mind. Simply focused on boxing and the man in front of him. Not worried about the stage. Took a counter left hand there as he was trying to make his way in. There's an exchange of jabs. Nudging right hands dug in as both boxers turn their heads to keep the eyebrows out of harm's way. Triple jab, right hand, and one of those shots did get through. Roughhouse tactics being employed by the teenager, and there's a complaint from Ovat. Don't doubt that they were straying into rabbit punch territory, but the referee's on hand to deal with that. Good left hand to the body, and the same shot once again from Ovat. As the roughhouse tactics continue before some excellent short range work, Ovat landing with a right hook at close range. Flashing left hook, almost caught the retreating boxer wearing red. He was put on the end of a stiff left jab there. What an opening round. My goodness. Both boxers enjoying plenty of success. It was Ovat who came out quickly. Then Brack was keen to turn the tables and put it on his opponent to see how he fared. And in the closing stages, we were treated to some terrific trade-offs. And we have got a 4-1 split in favor of Pavel Brack. But make no mistake, Nuratin Ovat in that opening round every second of the way. It was a really good middle portion of the round for the man in red. Some eye-catching right crosses such as that one right there. Finding the mark from the teenager. But then, Ovat would come straight back with hooks such as the one we saw there. There were the rabbit punches. The illegal tactics being employed by the teenager. As we move into the second round, Pavel Brak, part of an eight strong Polish boxing team, is a boxer in every weight class for Turkey. Reverse one, two, as Brak continues to rough up his opponent. Ovat turns the tables and goes in pursuit of him. And we often associate, for the most part, such tactics with more experienced boxers. Terrific left hand dug into the solar plexus of Brack by Ovat. But Brack showing that he's not going to be bullied physically in this one. And he's looking to take it to the more mature operator. Good left-right from Ovat. Wasn't too far away. Good use of the left jab 
from Brack, who then tried to turn a right uppercut underneath, but was just off the mark. Rabbit punch landed by Ovat. And again, well, he's saying, well, he's doing it to me too. But still, two wrongs don't make a right. Good work to the body from Brack. He comes up with the head. He's the shorter of the two opponents. Nothing malicious, but when he came up out of that crouch, his head crashed into the face of Brack. Good footwork from Brack to get himself off the ropes. And in, the, in doing so, he tripped up Ovat. Midpoint of the second round. This one being fought at a furious pace. Brack, the reigning four-time national champion of Poland. His most recent title came in the under-23 ranks last year. Before that, he had youth and junior successes. Rapphouse tactics applied once again with the headlock from Pavel Brack. Well, we've got an injury being, that's been sustained by an accidental clash of heads. Just trying to see where it is beneath that fringe. Well, the, doctor, the area the doctor is treating gives us a clear indication. The referee has made the gesture to the technical officials ringside that this injury has been caused by an accidental clash of heads. Just made the same gesture once again. So in the event that this injury causes the bout to be stopped, we will be going to the scorecards. How many injuries has Ovat picked up? Because the doctor apply, applying pressure to both eyebrows and the contest is over. Oh, that cross signal made by the doctor informing the referee that Ovat cannot continue. And you see the gesture the referee is making as though she's playing a keyboard. That's to indicate to the judges that their scores will be required. The first round was scored 4-1 in favor of Brack. The portion of the second round that was completed will be scored also. And you can see that right eye injury is a significant one. Difficult to discern the left eye injury beneath his fringe. So we have to wait for the official verdict, but still the boxers will be called to centre ring and then we will follow the usual post-bout protocol. So 4-1 the first round in favour of the man in red. How will they score the second round? That was curtailed early because of the eye injury sustained by Ovat. Remember, if things are tied, we go to preference. And you need an absolute majority of three of the five scoring judges. 2-1 or 2-0 is not enough in the event of tied scores appearing on the scorecard. Ladies and gentlemen, in the bout number 169, in the ring A, the winner of points by split decision is the most around of the blue corner. And it's Ovat, Nuretin Ovat, a split decision victor over Pavel Brack, who acquitted himself 